Well, I've been eating a lot of lettuce lately. That uh, lockdown lettuce has been really doing good. But you can't live on just lettuce alone. So I made a nice pot of chili the other day. And oh, that was good too. But anyhow, back to the lettuce. Um, here's a, this is like right after that last video I did a couple weeks ago. You can see the lettuce was, you know, doing pretty good and everything still growing. And really um, starting to look nice. The light's doing a wonderful job. And this was a um, couple days after that. And... I missed having lettuce up in the house growing, so I actually brought a grow light up, and I've been bringing some up um, as it gets big, and the next ones that we're going to eat are up in the house, and then uh, I've been also thinning out and eating that for the last couple of weeks, too. You know, all the little things where I put extra seeds in, they make nice little microgreens. And it was about a week ago I decided to make a salad, and I got out some of my tomatoes that I dehydrated last year, put a cup and a half of water in the microwave for three minutes to get it nice and warm and I'm just going to throw some tomatoes in there and just let them uh, rehydrate for a while and have a nice salad with some uh, well, as close as you can get to the fresh taste of a tomato in the winter time I guess and they do rehydrate really nice and you just have to I let them soak in there for about an hour and you do wind up with some nice uh, tomato taste in water too if you want to season anything up so we've been enjoying these tomatoes too, and um, and like I said, this was about a, a week ago. I was making a salad, and these are the plants that I had brought up, and I'm going to use these couple of plants up here. You got like five of them. You can see they're all doing good. Um, everything's really healthy, and uh, just the color of this lettuce and the flavor of it is just wonderful. It's really um, doing good. So. I got those couple cut up and it really wasn't enough so I just went down and uh, grabbed another big one that I had growing down there and I've been moving them around a little bit just to give them more room because I know like this type here these, uh, this red type uh, grows faster than the other stuff so I uh, you know I just uh, Looking in here, you can see the bok choy is growing and um, the kale starting to grow and the spinach doesn't really like it. But I did bring the bok choy up this time and that I'm going to make a stir fry in a, another couple of days it looks like. It's getting bigger and you know here is some of the other lettuce there. So I got that batch of lettuce all cleaned up and uh, those tomatoes I drained them, get all the moisture off of them and got out a bunch of our canned goods and decided to put together a nice salad for lunch and you know this is everything from our garden except for the uh the dry chickpeas are the only thing that you know weren't grown in the garden but um otherwise it's a taste of summer right here on the plate and it's really enjoyable and in the meantime my wife made a uh, a cake with the extra cranberries left over from thanksgiving and oh that was really good and i just can't figure out out how i keep putting weight on just eating salads but anyhow, a couple orange slices to go with that. And here you can see it's uh this is another this is actually today where I went down here. It's 30 days since I started it, and I've been eating lettuce for the last two weeks and decided to grab uh, another one of the a couple of the big ones from down there, and also a couple that I had upstairs to to harvest today. And you know, there it is. It's a uh, it's just doing fantastic under that grow light. Um, I'm really having good luck with it and there you can see I've got a lot of little thinnings to do this week too for some of the microgreens and back in the corner there the romaine starting to go crazy too and the kale you can see that's starting to get curly leaves on it spinach isn't doing so good and the basil is doing terrible it just doesn't like the environment in here anyhow you can see this is you know a couple days after the last thing this bok choy is just about ready to to pick now and make a nice stir fry that'll be next and those couple things of lettuce and some from downstairs are you know on today's meal right. so i just uh, you know this is what it looks like and uh, you see the romaine heads are starting to put on heads now and really crunchy crispy and uh really tasty so i'm just gonna harvest this is for lunch today harvest a little bit of lettuce and just cutting it off at the ground level there at a cup and 
I've heard that sometimes it'll grow back if you put the, the root, water the roots. So I'm going to put them back in the grow tent and see what happens. But in the meantime, the salad spinner has been getting a good workout, washing it all up and, uh, you know, just uh, getting the moisture out of it. The thing works real good. Yep, so it was another salad for lunch today, and after cleaning this all up. And then after spinning it, I'll just throw it on a cotton cloth and dry it down some with some paper towels and stuff. And, uh, you know, you can see it's really uh, all fantastic. I've been really enjoying this, and probably going to have it for about two more months with that batch that I started. Now, I did bring the basil upstairs because it looked terrible in the grow tent, and I'll see what happens with that here. Either my wife's amaryllis plant. She started them all at the same time, and it's amazing the different stage of growth that they're all at. One's just starting, and one's got flowers. And then this is today's lunch. Um, a nice salad, some of the tomatoes, pickled beets, nata pinos, uh, habanada, some uh, tuna in the middle, and, um, you know, a couple of dilly beans to go on the side with a little bit of dressing on it. So I just thought I'd do an update and let you know how the lettuce was doing. And, um, you know, it's definitely a, uh, a great way to have salad greens during the winter. And it's also a good way to allow us to use uh, some of the things that we've uh, pickled and canned over the summer here. You can see it does put together a nice tasty salad for the winter that's really enjoyable. And like I said before, you can't live on just salad alone, so I um, have to throw some treats in there and uh, some real meals. But, you know, anyway, this was a really nice cranberry cake that my wife made. And, uh, you know, this is pretty much what the, the lettuce looks like today. And uh, the bok choy is, uh, that's going to be next. That's going to be a stir fry, but I'm not going to bother making a video about that. And you can see it's a it's been a constant supply of lettuce, and it looks like you know probably about another two months worth. Wishing everybody a uh, merry Christmas and a happy New Year. Thanks for watching.